everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ashley. I make healthy lifestyle videos, beauty content, fashion content, all of that fun stuff and I would love to have you join our little community here, so welcome. So if you are new to my channel, let me bring you up to speed. I am in the middle of documenting what's called my Schlee's Health Journey series, which is going through the weight loss component of my Optavia 5-in-1 program. And if you don't know what Optavia is, I'll leave all of the information down in my description box below. Feel free to send questions my way, but the basics of your program is going to be you consuming five fuelings a day that come in your monthly Optavia box and then one lean and green meal a day that you prepare from home. All of your fuelings and your lean and greens are going to be spread out by two to three hour increments and that's exactly what's going to help us achieve our optimal weight during our optimal health program. So welcome to another episode of my Schlee's Health Journey series. <laughs> just looking into program or if you're currently on program and you're looking to run with somebody I'm here to run with you and I'm here to also share with you all of my absolute favorite fueling hacks lean and green recipes you name it everything that I have been using during my program here with Optavia so that I can get into my optimal weight and have a fun time doing it as well so today I'm gonna be sharing with you one of my absolute favorite lean and green recipes I have made to date honestly you guys this has been a huge game changer for me I seriously was such a critic when it came to spaghetti squash but we're gonna start using spaghetti squash because it literally has changed my game. If you guys are new to program and you don't really know what I'm talking about, that lean and green meal that you're making once a day contains about five to seven ounces of protein, three servings of veggies, and then one to two servings of healthy fat. And today's lean and green recipe is going to be spaghetti and meatballs. Like, how can you go wrong? That literally sounds delicious, and it has seriously become one of my go-to recipes for like any time I just need something fun, something yummy, something everybody will like. Zach absolutely loves this recipe as well. You guys will be so surprised. Spaghetti squash has literally been the biggest game changer for me. I've tried the other noodle substitutes, you guys. I've tried the hearts of palm, I've tried jicama, I've tried the zucchini noodles. I'm still working on getting those down. I feel like I will find a way to incorporate those someday, but for right now, spaghetti squash is where it's at. I don't know how it took me this long to get on this train, but I am floored. It is absolutely delicious the way that I make it, and it actually completes a full lean and green meal, spaghetti and meatballs. Does that not sound perfect? I'm gonna show you guys how to make it today, and let's get started. So number one, we're gonna be needing some spaghetti squash, obviously. So right here, I've got one full spaghetti squash. You can get this at your local grocery store. You guys, honestly, you'd be surprised how many stores this is at. You just probably Probably haven't seen it before. It took me a while to find it at my Target, but it's there, I promise you. And if you guys have not seen this at your store, I'll link all of these ingredients down below as well. But we're gonna need one cup of cooked spaghetti squash. So that's probably gonna come from half of this one spaghetti squash. You can save the other half by wrapping it with maybe some saran wrap, whatever is easiest for you, but we're gonna be using half of the spaghetti squash for one cup of cooked spaghetti squash. For the marinara of our spaghetti and meatballs, we're gonna be using Rayo's marinara sauce. So one quarter cup of our Rayo's marinara is gonna count as one green. So we're gonna be using a quarter cup of our Rayo's marinara sauce right over the top of our spaghetti squash and meatballs. And then obviously we need some meatballs because this is spaghetti and meatballs. We're gonna be using turkey meatballs from Trader Joe's. These are frozen, these are easy, these are literally the most convenient option, and trust me you guys, I have been playing around with this recipe for quite a long time now. I tried it with regular ground beef, I tried it with different frozen meatballs from my regular grocery store, all of those different options, and this has been absolutely my go-to. I have been perfecting this recipe just so that I could make it perfect for you guys, and I'm telling you, I think the easiest way we can do it is the Trader Joe's frozen meatballs. So if you guys don't know, there is a full Trader Joe's approved five in one list and I'll make sure to link it down below in the description if you guys have not seen it and five of our Trader Joe's lean turkey meatballs are gonna count as one lean serving for our lean and green meal so we're gonna be using five meatballs today and then for our seasoning so we're gonna make sure that this is all seasoned ready to go and taste delicious we're gonna be using half a teaspoon of garlic powder garlic powder is gonna give us the garlicky taste without actually adding a bunch of garlic because adding too much garlic can count as too much of a condiment for you so half a teaspoon spoon of garlic powder is gonna do the trick. Then to add a little bit of a salty bite, we're gonna be adding a quarter teaspoon of salt. I like to use the Himalayan pink salt, but whatever salt you guys use in your kitchen will be fine. We're gonna be using a quarter teaspoon of salt. Then to make sure that our spaghetti squash gets cooked properly, we're gonna use a little bit of our olive oil Pam spray. We're gonna be spraying this right over the top of our spaghetti squash to make 
sure that it crisps up and gets cooked all the way through. And then last but not least, right over the top of our spaghetti and meatball marinara, we're gonna be using a little bit of Parmesan cheese, shredded Parmesan cheese. One tablespoon of shredded Parmesan cheese right over the top of our spaghetti and meatballs. It's gonna melt right over the top, cheesy deliciousness. How can you go wrong? And then as you're in your kitchen prepping to make this recipe, also make sure that you have two baking sheets lined with parchment paper. We're gonna be baking our spaghetti squash and our turkey meatballs at the same time, so we need two baking sheets. And last but not least, in case you're doing the math here, don't worry about it, I've done the math for you. Just so that you can make sure that this fits in into your day for your lean and green meal, this full recipe is gonna count as three greens, one lean, and three condiments. There is no healthy fat because we are gonna be choosing our lean from our bottom category of the lean and green list, and this is going to create one full lean and green meal. That's everything we're gonna need, so let's get started. Okay, number one, first thing we need to do is preheat our oven. I went ahead and did that already. I have preheated my oven to 400 degrees. Okay, next thing we need to do is go ahead and prep our spaghetti squash. So we're gonna cut this directly down the middle on its side so that we can have an open face spaghetti squash. This is a little hard for me to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the big guns and have Zach cut this for me. So our spaghetti squash is opened. I'm gonna go ahead and save half of this for next time I wanna make this recipe. So I'm going to put saran wrap over this one and save it for later and we'll use this half for now. Now that I have half of my spaghetti squash, I'm gonna go ahead and scrape out just this initial inside because we don't wanna eat this part. We only wanna eat what's actually in the squash. So we're gonna scoop this out just like you're carving a pumpkin. We take that stuff out too. Make sure you get all of it out of the center so that it's good to go and then we'll get the spaghetti squash out once it's cooked. spaghetti squash is cleaned, I'm just gonna flip it over. I'm gonna poke a couple holes just on the back side of my spaghetti squash so that it can vent, and then I'll still be facing it face side up so that it can cook. I've gone ahead and placed half of my open face spaghetti squash on top of my baking sheet. Now I'm gonna prep the inside. So first off, I'm just gonna spray a little bit of my Pam cooking spray just to make sure I get a little bit of oil on the top side. I just need a little bit so that I can get the top crispy and I can also put my seasonings on top. So I'm gonna spray it directly on. Next, I'm gonna add my dry seasonings. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and add half a teaspoon of my garlic powder for one condiment. And then next, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quarter teaspoon of my Himalayan pink salt right over the top of my garlic powder. Now that our spaghetti squash is prepped, let's move on to prepping the meatballs. So here are my frozen turkey meatballs from Trader Joe's, and I'm gonna go ahead and place five of them on my baking sheet so that we can add them to our recipe. So just keep in mind, I am gonna be making these turkey meatballs from frozen, not thawed. So my baking times are all gonna be for frozen turkey meatballs. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my meatballs as well as my spaghetti squash into the oven at the same time, and they are both gonna cook at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. I'm gonna place my spaghetti squash on the top rack and my turkey meatballs on the bottom rack, and I'm gonna go ahead and cook both of them at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. Okay guys, our spaghetti squash and our turkey meatballs are out of the oven, they are cooked, and now we can start assembling. So I've let these cool, and now we're gonna start putting together our spaghetti and meatballs. So first off, I'm gonna start with my spaghetti squash. You guys can see that there's a little bit of liquid in the center there. We're just gonna dab that out with a paper towel, just from the liquid inside the squash itself. We don't need that, just make sure you get it out before you start peeling your spaghetti squash out. comes the fun part. So inside our spaghetti squash, we're gonna go ahead and take a fork and start peeling along the inside of our spaghetti squash to get the strands of the spaghetti out. And you can see that as you start peeling along the inside, little strands of spaghetti are gonna become visible and that's what we're gonna eat. So let's get started. Our 
spaghetti squash has been torn apart, we're gonna go ahead and measure out one cup for two greens. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and place my one cup of cooked spaghetti squash on my plate. I'm gonna place my five cooked Trader Joe's turkey meatballs right on top. And now I've got my quarter cup of my Rayo's marinara that I'm gonna pour right over the top. Obviously you want this warm, so you can either put this in the microwave for like 30 seconds to a minute, or you can warm it on the stove top however you need, but we're gonna do a quarter cup of our Rayo's marinara right over the top for our third green. Last but not least, we're gonna take a tablespoon of our shredded Parmesan cheese right over the top for some melted cheesy goodness. Guys, this is our full lean and green meal, spaghetti and meatballs and marinara. Absolutely delicious. And I'm telling you guys, the way that we cook the squash, I cook it with the inside up just because I like how the top of the spaghetti squash gets a little crunchy. No, it's not like typical spaghetti. It's not gonna taste like noodles. But you guys, this is an incredible alternative, especially since noodles have so many carbs. This is absolutely delicious and it still tastes like you're having spaghetti and meatballs. This is actually a veggie that you're having for pasta. So, so good. And honestly, I like the crunchy consistency. Like I said, I've tried some of these other noodle alternatives and it just does not taste the same. It doesn't even feel like I'm tasting anything similar to pasta. This is my go-to and honestly, this has become a regular in our household. We make this like once a week now. So, so good. And all I had to do was throw everything in the oven at once, put it in for 30 minutes, assemble it together and it's done. This is a full lean and green and I'm having a hard time not eating it right now because it's so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and have my lean and green now. If you guys like this video and you wanna see more lean and green recipes from me, please be sure to comment that down below as well as like this video and subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload. I have plenty more recipes to come you guys and I'm just absolutely thrilled that we are on this journey together. So thank you all so, so much for your support. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.